Hi, this is Warren Gresham with the tenth in a series of video prospecting tips, guaranteed to help you make more calls, see more prospects, and of course, close more sales. A while back, I delivered a keynote speech for a nationwide staffing and outsourcing company. I followed up with a phone call to the president of the company two weeks later. During our conversation, we commiserated about salespeople who use email as a crutch, along with an excuse not to sell. It was then he told me a great story about his mother. It seems his mom owns a flower shop in Florida. While visiting her one day, they got into a discussion about how she could increase her business. He suggested that since most people buy flowers for special occasions like birthdays, anniversaries, and Valentine's Day, it would be simple to look back over her sales records and just contact these people a year later as a reminder. Well, naturally, his mother thought this was a great idea and asked, "Should I put together a list and email them?" To which he replied, "An email list would be a great thing to have, but why not just get on the phone and call them?" And that's exactly what they did. His mom had one of her assistants make the calls, and in the first ten calls, this young woman closed four sales—not contacts, not conversations, but four sales—a forty percent success rate, which on the phone is sensational. Do you really think that an email campaign would have netted a success rate anywhere near that? Nothing takes the place of personal contact. If the competition is going to use email, you pick up the phone. If the competition decides to get on the phone, you go see them in person. In times like these, those who stay aggressive will win. If you want to know how to eliminate the fear that stops you from making the calls, attend my webinar, Prospecting Skills to Increase Your Sales, on Thursday, August 18th at 12 noon Eastern Time. For more information and to sign up, click the link on this page.